Hello, this is Jeep. Today I'm going to teach you how to use our new model VXP1000. Okay, let's check the input area. Input area we have one DVI, two HDMI, one DP, and uh, one VGA. And uh, here we also support USB and uh, SDI extension. And uh, here output we have uh, three DVIs, and uh, that means we can support three sending cards. Okay. Now uh, I will uh, make a, an example uh, to show you how to uh, set the parameter. Let's check the example. For example, if you have a, a screen like this, the first sending card uh, control 1200 by 800 pixels. The second one, the same. The third one, also the same. The first one, we should plug in a DVI 1A. Okay, plug here. The first card connect to the DVI 1A output. The second card we connect to DVI 1B output. The third one we connect to DVI 2. Okay, and how to set the parameter, you may ask. Uh, this one and uh, this one, actually they are working as one, the copy mode. So uh, we have to use DVI 1A plus DVI 1B. In total is 2000. Um, 400 by 800 pixels. So let's check how to set. We click here, switch language to English, English, and uh, set a output setting. Okay, output setting, output resolution, custom. You can set the head to 800, 8. 100 and the white to 2400 okay then apply sighting apply sighting then after that we need to change uh, we need to select a template select a template then we choose the first template. Okay, splicing uh, horizontally. Okay, only one window. And now the DVI one uh, is uh, two thousand four hundred by eight hundred. DVI two is also two thousand four hundred by eight hundred. So we need to adjust the size of the window. Okay to 3600 by 800, okay? Here we click size and position, size and position. Now you can check the width now is 4800. So we come here, make it 3600, okay? Okay, now the parameter is uh, right. Now it will show a full signal, okay, extended to this LED screen. And if you want, if you want to open more windows, we can click the template and choose. We have in total ten different templates. You can choose. Okay, if we want to uh, use uh, open three windows, like this one, okay, use this one, then we can open three windows, one, two, three. 
and uh, we can set the size and the position for each window which means that we can move the window and we can set the size of the window click here the size and the position we choose the window we want to change window one two three we can set the uh, h start means the coordinate the x the x coordinate this is the y coordinate y and uh, the size of the window okay the size of the window we can set one by one but here's one thing you should be careful uh, if you choose the template it's like this one this means this window can go to div1 or div2 but this one can only stay within div1 this one stay within div2 it cannot move to this side this one cannot move to this side okay only this one can move to the whole screen okay now after we finish the setting we can save we can save we have a ten preset option okay we can save to the first one so next time if you want to use we can just uh, click load then we can find the parameter here we can just load from here okay and uh, if you want to switch signal we can click the switch button switch now it shows this part is green this is the window 2 okay window 2 we can switch signal for example HDMI 1 we click then this one change to HDMI 1 okay and we want to choose uh, another window and uh, switch the signal we can click the switch again then the select the window 3 okay window 3 then we can click click here this press this button now it will switch to HDMI 2 okay and uh, we also uh, have the crop which means we can cut one part of the signal to show on the screen okay if we click crop we ask you to choose uh, which window to crop okay we choose uh, if on a crop window one we can set the H start and the we start for this one it means uh, cut from 0 0 uh, 940 wide and uh, 540 in head is this area like this cut this part to show a window one okay we can also freeze the screen click freeze then the screen will uh, pause okay we we'll also have a blackout click black the screen will be black and we also have a, a Wi-Fi this one actually is used for well wireless projection which means you can use your uh, cell phone to do projection the screen will choose uh, uh, what exactly you do on your cell phone okay and we also have test button you can click test then you can test uh, if the LED screen have dead pixels or not in total we have uh, uh, from 0 to 60 so in total 61 test pattern we have uh, 61 pictures uh, with a uh, gray level some of gray level some of just uh, one color you can test the screen quality if there are 
uh, that pixels on the screen, okay? And uh, for this part, uh, is for software upgrading, okay? And uh, this one is to use software to control the video processor. Okay, that here you can see, this is the software to control the video processor. Use the USB uh, cable connector here, okay? And uh, here's one more thing you need uh, to pay attention is that uh, when you set the sending card for DVI-1B, you should uh, set the coordinates, uh, coordinates, okay? Which means uh, if you set to this screen, this use DVI-1B, you should set the X start to 1200 okay x start is uh, from here so x start is 1200 you should set this on the sending card software okay that's probably about the VXP 1000 function okay I cannot tell you uh, all the functions we also have many other functions so uh, you can check by yourself okay and thank you for watching uh, thank you for using our products